In the Dominican Republic, baseball is an obsession. We follow two young players who aspire to be drafted by Major League Baseball. Will their dreams be answered? Find out in Ball Player Pelotero. We're here today to talk about a new documentary, Ball Player Pelotero. You both have just seen it. Sean, why don't you start us? Oh, okay. Well, it's narrated by John Leguizamo. It is. Really? I yes. didn't know that. Well, now you know, because I've told you. And it follows the lives of these two baseball players, uh, Miguel Angel Santo and Jean Carlos Batista, who are two young prospects in the Dominican Republic, trying to make their way into Major League Baseball in America. And it's, it's crazy because the Dominican Republic, according to this documentary, and of course I believe it, is obsessed with baseball. And, and they have these camps set up that are rigorous with training these athletes to basically make millions of dollars when they head over to the States and, you know, get drafted by a team. How old are these kids? They can be drafted okay. at 16. And there's several things film talks about. One of them is the bureaucracy that these players have to battle. I mean, they're constantly needing to prove their legality as being 16 years old. There's a lot of people who lie about their age that fake their age and ID and identification, especially since the Dominican Republic, from what we see in the film, doesn't seem to be too technologically advanced in terms of printed, computerized records. So there seems to be a lot of situations where people can fake their papers. Right, and even the papers that are there, they're confused about, well, what does this mean? Because it doesn't say like a particular hospital, say like right. a town and things like that. So there's a, it, the record keeping is nowhere near as good as it is in the United States. And so people are scrutinizing everything because there's a lot to scrutinize. Right. And the players are also battling the, the, the context um, the fact that Americans at that same age applying to be in minor league baseball are paid a lot more in terms of their draft price than Dominican Republic players. And so there's this weird discrimination going on as well that I think a lot of people today don't really know about. Well, it's tough. I mean, there are stars from the Dominican Republic in Major League Baseball right now. You have David Ortiz from the Boston Red Sox. I mean, these people are making lots and lots of money. A lot more money than I'm ever going to make. So, I mean, to a certain degree, yes. I don't say that, Sean. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> to a certain degree, yes, they're, getting, they're certainly getting paid less than the American players. But at the same time, this is an opportunity that they're giving these young kids in the Dominican Republic. If, if they make $1.5 million, you know, the day they're signed, that's going to make a major difference in their lives. I think there's two ways to interpret the film. And maybe that's because the thesis of the film is a little bit ambiguous. It's not fully fleshed out. We have all these messages, all these strains that are being developed. Right. I mean, it certainly focuses more on the trainers and the scouts than it does on the players themselves, which I actually didn't like about the movie. I mean, maybe it's a language barrier. You know, these kids don't really speak English that well, and so you can't really have them as, as subjects in the documentary. But we're more or less told how good they are. And we never really see how good they we are. We see a little bit. We, we see, see them hitting bit. home runs. Yeah, we. I mean, we see this guy, you know, up to bat practice, and, and he's great. He's fantastic. But still, I was sort of wondering, well, just how good is this guy? I mean, is this guy going to be a major star? I, I kind of want to see him play if you're going to tell me he's that good. Clearly, there's a lot of controversy around this documentary. Bud Seeley, who's the commissioner of Major League Baseball, essentially dismissed the documentary and said that there was a number of inaccuracies in it. How would you guys respond to that? They allude to controversial elements that a scout from Major League Baseball potentially gets involved with in relation uh, to our players. Okay. But there's little proof. And I, it's not again, it's not fully fleshed out. So I think the issue is these filmmakers want to tell a really compelling story, which they did, but they didn't have everything that they needed to really indict Major League Baseball. Right. The filmmakers, by the way, are Ross Finkel, Trevor Martin, and Jonathan Paley. Who... Which is really exciting because I went to school with Jonathan Paley at Washington University really? in St. Louis. Yeah. So you know him. I do, and we went through the film program together. I wouldn't say it's a home run, but I will say it's a stand-up double. So that's to see it. It feels a little bit unfinished, but it tells a compelling story without being too preachy. So I say see it. Ball player Pelotero. 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 Right. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. How cool is that? It's you really never told cool. me that. I did tell you that. Wow. Okay, <laughs> then I just wasn't listening. But now I know. I'm sorry. Go ahead.